it's Cassie Hicks from Modern Marketing Spa and the Modern Marketing Club. I've got my tools with me today. We're going to talk about tuning up your social media. So grab your notepads. I've got lots to share with you. We're going to keep this very short and sweet though. So lots to share, very concise. So welcome to this week's Facebook Live. This is a weekly Facebook Live. I would love you to like and comment and share. And if you know anyone else who's running their own business, who's using social media to do their marketing, then what we're going to talk today about tuning up your social media with a social media audit. And look at this fun little thing here. Look, I've got all sorts of debris. So maybe I've got a Facebook one, a LinkedIn one and a, an Instagram one. And this could be Twitter. And we're going to use them. Oh, hi, Joy. Morning. Thanks for joining. Thanks for the hearts. Yes, so do please like, comment and share and I'd love to know who's here. So who here is using social media to market their business and they feel like they could do with a bit of a tune up or maybe you're using social media to run your business, but you don't know if you need a tune up. And if you don't know, then an audit is probably what you do know. Hi, Sally. Good to have you here. So it's really interesting, actually. I decided to talk about uh, today's topic giving your social media an, an audit and tuning up. I've got my tools here. And it's really interesting. I've just had a call with a potential client, literally just got off the phone sort of 20 minutes ago. And she's launching a new business and needs help for social media. And she asked if we could have a call and looking for someone to help her with strategy and maybe managing social media and the, the community that she's putting together. And just asking her some really basic questions it sort of became clear that she needs some help and of course that's why she's reached out but if you are doing any marketing on social media really really important that you do audit what you're doing and I know I've said this before but it's something that I think gets forgotten and what I mean by audit your social media, so it's a bit like normally I think audit's got a negative connotation, hasn't it? Because it feels a bit like, oh, taxes and money and stuff. But what we mean is we're going to take our little toolbox um, and the tools that are provided on social media are free and really, really useful. And what we want to do is we want to see what's working and what's not working. And that's going to inform your strategy and your content plan for the following month. So actually, I'm really excited. I'm putting together a masterclass where I'm going to actually walk you through how to run your own social media audit and the steps to go through. And what I've done, I've put together a dashboard. So it's just like the dashboard on your car where you can see how much petrol you've got, you know, how fast you're going, you know, do you need any maintenance? And it's the same thing. It's a very simple dashboard where what I'm going to walk you through in the masterclass is how you can tell how you can just do a quick check every month what's working and what's not working I think I'm going to probably run the masterclass at the end of I might run it more than once at the end of the month um, and actually take you through the process sort of hold your hand through that process because I know it's one thing to talk theory it's another thing to actually be shown what to do and to be able to ask questions and to have the dashboard given to you so you can just fill in the numbers and then someone's going to show you Here's how you interpret the numbers and here's how you need to do things differently as a result of the numbers. So one thing this lady was telling me this morning I was talking to, she said, was saying how overwhelmed she feels. I don't know if you can, if you can relate to that type of one in the comments. If anyone feels overwhelmed when they think about their marketing and their social media, just type in a one in the comments. And one of the reasons people get overwhelmed is because, you know, they're, they're trying to do this bit and this bit and... Um, this bit and then they've got this bit and how do all the bits fit together and do I need to do four different things or do I just maybe I only need this one <laughs> do I need all of these three or do I just need this one and unless you have a process to look and see what's working and to run an audit and to understand what you're looking at then it is overwhelming because I can't remember who came up with this clever rule you've probably heard of the 80 20 rule and so I'll give you an example of the 80-20 rule. So I was having a look at my stats and um, if I had to guess, I would say, OK, most of my traffic comes from Facebook because that's where I put my effort. So that that makes sense. But also because I know how effective Facebook is when you use it properly. And but I wasn't sure about the other platforms. I wasn't sure, like, for example, 
Instagram versus Twitter because we use all the platforms which one's working better and what's really interesting when I had a look at um, our when I'd audited Modern Marketing Spark social media and this was a couple of months ago now what was really interesting is that actually Instagram is coming up as a really good source of traffic so it's driving people to my website um, but in terms of conversion, in terms of people actually taking action, Facebook far outperformed and actually Twitter outperformed Instagram in terms of conversion. So that's the other thing about the audit. It might be you've got all these tools in your toolbox, but what is it you're trying to do? So for me, you know, you need to think, is it, do you just want as many eyeballs on your website as possible or do you want people to be taking the action you want them to take? Now, when I put the question like that, I imagine most of you are going to say, well, I want to take the action I'm going to take. But do you think about it like that when you're creating your content for social media? Or are, you, are you just thinking, do you know what? I'll just post some things on Facebook and Instagram and hopefully some people will follow me and hopefully I'll get some interviews or people will, you know, buy my stuff. So, you know, you've got to understand where people are coming from and what they're likely to do and this is where you can really simplify your marketing and your social media because if you just if your main goal is to get people to go to your website and sign up for your freebie let's say for example and you know that Instagram's driving traffic but Facebook converts then you might want to put more effort into what you're posting on Facebook and how you post it because that's going to get more people on your email list However, if, for example, you are, um, let's say you're promoting, you're launching something or you're promoting an event and you want to get a lot of eyeballs quickly on something, then it might be that an Instagram story strategy would be a better one. Or maybe you should be on Twitter, but you can't, we can't sit here on this Facebook Live here today and say you need to do this for traffic and this for conversion because it's going to be different for you, isn't it? What I'm seeing is going to be different for might be even different now after two months going to be different for all of our different clients and it's going to be different for you so the brilliant thing about understanding this though I know I'm, I hope I'm not making it sound complicated it's actually easy because it's it's reducing all the options of things that you need to do it's giving you less to do but you're going to be much more efficient because you're going to understand when you look at your dashboard you're going to say do you know what this thing here is bringing traffic and people are taking the action I want to take. So I'm going to put away uh, this one and this one and I'm going to focus on this thing, whatever this thing might be for your business. So that was one of the things I had a, was talking to this lady about this morning and what it really boils down to is having that clarity. But the only way to get that clarity is to have that knowledge. And the only way to get the knowledge is to have a look at your analytics and to do this audit. Now, I know some people make this really complicated. And um, hi, if you're joining the call, I can see people coming in. Um, let me know who's here in the comments because I love to say hello. And I want your questions too. What questions do you have? Because I know it's easy for me to say all this stuff. Um, you know, I'm li we're living and breathing social media every day and for such a different, such a wide range of clients. Um, but what questions do you have? Does this all make sense to you? Is it resonating? If it is, please like, please comment, please share, because this is something that could make such a big difference to your marketing and, and to the, you know, reducing your feelings of overwhelm, getting you better results, spend, you know, less money, waste less time, all by just simply understanding how to audit what you're doing, put together the simple dashboard so you can track this. And the beauty of having a dashboard, which is just, it's just a little grid that you fill in with all your numbers in it, is that you can give that to someone else. So if you've got a VA or someone that helps you with your admin, that person can actually just plug those numbers. So if you want, you know, you show them where, where to get the numbers from. And that's what I'm going to cover in the masterclass. That person can actually um, plug the numbers in for you. And then they can just give you that every month and you can just skim across it and have a look and say, oh, look, it's really interesting. Instagram was, uh, you know, Twitter was my best traffic source. Now it's moving to Instagram or actually Facebook stories are working really well for me now. So you don't necessarily have to do all of this. Let's have a look. I've got a question here from Sally. 
Um, Sally, that's that's an interesting question. What's the best kind of content to go on Insta? Well, that depends what you're trying to do. And that's just what I was saying a moment ago. Are you trying to drive traffic to Amazon? Are you trying to get people to buy a book? Are you trying to get them to sign up for some sort of a free chapter? You know, it depends what you're trying to do. And it sounds to me like you need um, a content plan. But what I'm talking about here is an audit of your social media, which you would use to see how your content plan is working. So you could start with the audit first um, and then that's going to help you to drive your content plan. So the two pieces go together because otherwise you're just posting and hoping that people are going to see you really. You know, there's no sort of strategy behind it. So um, the masterclass is going to probably be in the very first week of September. So I'm going to We'll do it in the very first week of September. OK, thanks, Sally. Um, so that you can then use the information from the audit to plan out your whole September content. And September's a really important, busy month because, you know, the kids go back to school. Summer holidays are over. You know, I think even though it's not the beginning of the year, quite often, I think because we're used to the school year, it feels like the beginning of a new year, doesn't it? So it's quite a time for people to be launching and having you know starting new programs and putting new marketing plates I know we're really busy with people saying help me with this and help me with that so any other questions on social media audit and you know do you know which of these you know if you've got three social media platforms and different tools you know which one do you use how do you work out which one to use how do you know which one's working the best and what do you think about the idea of the dashboard do you like the idea of a simple dashboard that you can fill in or your VA can fill in? Does that fill you with dread of, oh, I'm not a numbers person? What what do you think about the idea of the dashboard? And if you're watching this on replay, you can type comments in as well. It doesn't matter if you're not here live. A lot, most people actually watch on replay, which is absolutely fine. So just type in and let me know what are your thoughts on the dashboard? Do you love the idea of the dashboard? Is that going to make your life easier? You can hand it off to someone else or you can be a bit more in control or does that fill you with oh that sounds too much like you know a spreadsheet with numbers in it actually I could make it really pretty so it's not a spreadsheet with numbers <laughs> at the moment it's a spreadsheet with numbers but it could just be a sort of something more with a, a needle on it so guys um, thanks so much for joining I'm going to keep this really short but I would love you to um, share this with anyone else that would find this useful. I love doing these Facebook Lives and I really appreciate you coming on live and asking your questions and particularly engaging, joining in and sharing this information with other people that could use it because just think how much time and energy and stress we can save people if they just have a bit of knowledge. Um, if you'd like information on the masterclass, I haven't got the date planned yet, but I will um, circulate that in the Modern Marketing Club quite soon. Let me know if you're interested in that. Just type um, tune up in the comments below. Tune up as in I'm going to tune up your social media um, and we're going to do that together on the masterclass. There'll be a workbook. We'll go through the whole thing. I'll, I'll give you the template for the dashboard. Um, so you don't have to create anything from scratch. I'm going to give you the um, the workbook, the pieces, and then we're actually going to walk through it live together. So this is how I work on my with my social media accelerator um, students. In fact, they have they have a free pass into the masterclass, and we go through things together so that you leave with what you need. You're not left on your own. OK, interesting. So Sally's getting 80 sales via Facebook, especially if you do a Facebook live. Twitter's harder to get my head around looking at trying harder to get engaged on Insta. Yeah. So what you really need to know is which of those is going to be most effective for you. And is it one thing alone or is it a combination? Because it might be that it's Twitter and Instagram stories or it might be that it's Facebook and Twitter or Facebook on Inst and Instagram together. So that's that's what you need to work out. And that's what we will um, be looking at in the masterclass that's coming up. 
Okay guys, I'm going to end it there so I can keep it quite short. Thanks so much. Thanks Sally. Thanks Joy for being here live and anyone else that's come in and said hi. Thank you for all the hearts. I'll see you in the Modern Marketing Club. And so if you're watching this on replay, just type your comments in below and I'll speak to you soon. Have a great rest of the day guys. Take care. Bye.